Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Kyle from EscapingTheNorm.com, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom footer. Now, this is very, very similar to how you create a custom header, almost identical. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on in. All right, I'm at my WordPress dashboard, but let me show you uh, exactly what I'm talking about right now. Uh, so if you scroll all the way down, uh, this is the footer, and let me hide that. This is the footer that we're going to be overriding and creating a new completely custom one. So I'm gonna come back to my dashboard and the way that you do that, uh, I'm gonna just create a test page because once you create a custom footer with the Elementor header footer blocks, it's gonna override this one. So I'm gonna just create a test page so that you know we can just test it out and see how it looks without you know overriding the whole website's footer. So I'm going to just click add new and I'm going to name this one test footer. I'm going to click publish, publish, edit with Elementor, just to lock it with Elementor. Click that, exit to dashboard. Okay, now we are ready. So I'm going to click the W and I'm going to come down to appearance, Elementor header and footer builder. And I'm going to click add new and I'm going to add the title, which I'm going to just name it test footer. You know, you could name it whatever you want to name it. And right here, type of template, I'm going to put footer and display on. I'm going to scroll all the way down and put specific pages because we only want it to display on a specific page. So I'm going to type test and select test footer page and user roll all. And I'm going to click publish. Okay, it's ready to edit. So I'm going to click edit with Elementor. Now, I'm not going to sit here and build out like an extravagant, uh, you know, footer, but uh, I'm going to just load up a template, maybe like add a few things to it. And, you know, because the main goal of this is just to show you how to do it. I'm going to be going over how to use all the options in Elementor in like the next couple of tutorials. So uh, if you want to like right here are the templates for Elementor. So if you click on that, what opens by default these are like page templates so like if you clicked on this and loaded it it would load like that whole page onto there but we're we're going to use blocks because blocks are like specific sections of websites and you can select any of these you know and load them into there now there's not very many options here uh bec i mean they're all like black and white and kind of weird because this is the free version. If you get Elementor Pro, which is only $49 per year at the time of this recording, there's a whole lot more options, uh, a lot cooler designs. So if you don't have Elementor Pro and you want it, click the button below to get it. But I'm gonna just go ahead and load in this basic footer template right here. So you just click on it and you click import block. And there it is. So I'm gonna just change a few things. Like I'm gonna make this section like a dark color so i'm gonna click this middle uh you know thing whatever it is uh the middle thing click that and this will uh bring us to the you know where we can edit the section i'm gonna click style and background which is already selected background type classic and here's the color so you can change the color i'm gonna change it to like a darker color and then i'm gonna click on the text right here click style and I'm going to click text color and make it white. Click that. Style. White. And I'm going to just do that for all of it. Okay, now I've changed the color to white. So it'll blend in better. And uh, basically, I'm going to delete one. Of, so these are the different columns. There's four columns. And you can delete these columns by right-clicking and deleting it. Actually, I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to just delete the text that's inside there because I'm going to put my logo in there. So you just hover over the text you want to delete. And right there where that pencil is, right click it, delete, and right click delete. And then I'm going to click, you know, view all widgets right here. And I'm going to put image. And then I'm going to click here and click my logo, upload. And so there's my logo. And I'll show you real quick how you would add like a link. So say you can put like my YouTube channel and I'm gonna change the topography. I'm gonna make the size a little smaller so it fits. And then I'm gonna scroll down and 
get a text decoration, underline, underline it, you know, make it look like that. And then, like, let's say you wanted just a link right here. So I could just click here, control A, backspace, and uh, I could put click here I, you know honestly i'd probably put something else uh anyways you can highlight that and this will pop up and this little thing the little link icon is where you can put the url in so i'll just put like uh you know youtube.com then i'll click this button and that'll turn it into a link okay so that created the link and you know you could add however many links you wanted or you could add you know like a say you wanted to add a list like this like let's say you want to add that there and then delete that. And then you can change the color of this. By going to style. And then icon. You can change the color to white. And then text. You can change the color to white. Like that. And you know like there's a lot of spacing on the top and bottom. So let's say I wanted to reduce that. I can click this middle thing here. Go to advanced and padding. You can see. 120 on the top, 120 on the bottom. So I could reduce this on the top, you know, just to make it like a little cleaner looking. And then on the bottom, I could do the same thing. And you can also just click that and, you know, type it like that. So that's what our footer looks like. I know that doesn't look very good, but, you know, the whole point is just to show you how to do this. And by the way, you can collapse this to see how it'll actually look on the website. And you can come back here. You can also check the responsive mode, and it looks decent. It's, it's not that great. But anyways, uh, when you're done making your new footer, click Update. It'll update it, and then you can click that button and exit to Dashboard. Okay, so if you're happy with this footer and you want to display it across the whole entire website, all you do is go back to your Dashboard, Appearance, Elementor, Header, Footer, Builder, and you know your footer which is right here click edit beneath it and scroll down and instead of specific pages you'll put all i'm sorry wrong one entire website and then you'll click update and it will display across the entire website and it'll override the original one and then we can go back to our page and see it's test footer i'll just click edit to get the url and right here under permalink is the URL, visit page, click it, and there's our new footer. So uh, that is how that is how you create a custom footer. Uh, I hope that was simple enough. If it wasn't, just let me know in the comments. I would love to give your get your feedback. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up below. And if you want more content like this, where I walk you through step by step, uh, make sure you subscribe. If you have any suggestions, I would love to know, you know, type them down in the comments and I will, you know, make it if, I, if it seems like a good idea. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to end this video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.